What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to another SNL reaction. This time, HBO Mario Kart trailer starring Pedro Pascal. Now, you guys know, if you guys didn't know, though, I do react and watch The Last of Us. I really do enjoy it here on the channel, especially all the comments that go a long way. And everybody really been asking me, especially since I am doing the reactions now, are you gonna check out this new SNL skit where they're kind of spoofing The Last of Us, but based on the Mario Kart lore? And especially with the new movie coming out, the animated film, I gotta check this one out. I know it's been a couple of days since this one came out. I'm on the late train, but everyone's talking about it. Even people at work are hitting me up like, hey, did you check out that new skit? Enough talking, let's get to watching. But before we do, if you guys wanna show love to the channel, make sure to hit that big thumbs up. Consider subscribing today where I do more reactions like this, movie reactions, music reactions, and live streams here on the channel. All right, Flix Talkers, let's get into my first look at HBO Mario Kart trailer from SNL, Saturday Night Live. HBO's The Last of Us is a hit, proving a video game can become a prestige dystopian drama. This spring, HBO is doing it again with another iconic game. It's been 10 years since our kingdom fell. The only thing we have left, hope. I have important cargo I need smuggled to Rainbow Road. People say you used to- Ha <laughs> to Rainbow Road. Okay, so that was a coin straight up. Drive. People say a lot of things. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. People say you can drive. Rainbow Road. People say you used to drive. People say a lot of things. You got a name? It's a me. Mario. I like how he said it's a me. <laughs> it's a me. Mario. Hey, we're taking it back to the old school 90s movie, man, where they had a uh, John Leguizamo Latino. But I mean, you know, he's playing Luigi. We got a Latino Mario now. That's cool. That looks awesome. Not what? The fungi. Who? She's a princess. At least she was. Must be Ellie. Until he took over. <laughs> oh my god! Wait a minute, bro. That's supposed to be Koopa? Keenan is a legend, bro. I like how they didn't even really do too much on his mouth. They could have went the extra mile and put some makeup on him, but, you know, it's all good. We'll never make it on foot. You won't have to. Let's a go. <laughs> From the producers of The Last of Us and the master storytellers behind Mario Kart's 1 through 8. What's it like out here? Wow, that's just like the last episode. That's wait, what? That's crazy. Yeah, like the episode four. Wait, didn't this come out? Uh, I want to say this came out like a day. The last episode, episode four, came out like a day after this because this premieres on Saturday. What? How did they nail it? Like, what it was gonna look like? Maybe they had insider info. I'm sure. Carting out here isn't a game. If we're gonna make it, we need all the help we can get. Oh no, who are they gonna get? <laughs> it's a Luigi time. <laughs> Everything on this road wants us dead. What is that thing? Goomba. Sentient fungus with shoes for legs. All your favorite wacky racers reimagined as complex, dramatic HBO characters. <laughs> yeah. Yoshi. I'm bisexual. <laughs> For no reason, I'm Yoshi, bisexual. I'm Yoshi. I'm bisexual. Name's Doug. Also, I'm bisexual. HBO. Okay, I think we had mentioned this before that anytime that they're really spoofing or doing a parody off of something like big, like a show like this, uh, they always like to shoehorn, you know, gay characters or bisexual characters, but for satirical value because they know about the woke agenda and stuff like that so yeah keep doing it hollywood they're gonna keep making fun of it the wrong game to do this with raves variety yeah this ain't it it's the new york times you eat that poison it makes me feel big okay i need to feel big because bowser's out there and he's the main bad guy <laughs> Damn, this looks so cool, like how they did this. We're out there in our carts. Woohoo! I love this! I need you to 
trust me. Hold on! I'll get you to yeah. Rainbow Road. There's shit on my seat! You can dodge it! No. It's red. <laughs> Cloud comes and uses a fishing pole to put you back on the road. Wow, oh. so meta. Okay. Yes, baby, love it. Love it. All right, let's talk about it. All right, so Mario Kart, HBO, basically. Uh, so we know that HBO is now the home of The Last of Us and these darker grittier shows if you guys didn't know uh last of us is brought to us by the people of chernobyl and that was a dark dystopian you know uh type of show uh not futuristic or anything post-apocalyptic it was based on actual things that happened but once again a dark grim dramatic show which has this color palette it is very dark uh, you know uh visually just literally but also the subject nature as well as uh the last of us which has been great to me each episode's been different. Each episode's pretty much for the most part. Uh, maybe episode four, not so great as episode three. But, you know, they just keep getting better and better. So you guys let me know. Are you watching The Last of Us? This is funny that they spoofed this because Pedro Pascal is involved. Now, I know he has a lot of other clips here. Don't know if I should check them out. You guys let me know in the comments below. Pedro Pascal hosting SNL. Was that a fun one? I will say this. There was a period recently where I just fell off of SNL because it just stopped being funny, at least with this newer cast. It's starting to go back up. For me, at least, the clips that I've checked out recently have been really funny. Now, I don't know if they hired new writers or what happened, but they're getting a little more edgier. They're not really caring. They're just kind of pushing the envelope of comedy to where they can offend everyone again. And that's what I loved about SNL. That was the whole point, is satirical parody. I love that and it and i feel like it's getting a little better now maybe that's just me you guys let me know i'm sure there's going to be a lot of commenters that are like oh the golden years of snl and this we're all going to have our golden years that's not the point the point is are they pushing the envelope once again by using this you know topical humor to kind of grasp an audience and and make us laugh at once again the things that we see are kind of being forced and inserted I'm not for, you know, anti-trans, uh, I'm not for anti-gay, I'm not for, you know, not including people of color, I'm all for that. But we all know that the word woke has been taken into something that was supposed to be, you know, you're awakened, right? But it's been force-fed and shoehorned in to an unnatural level when it comes to entertainment, when it comes to, you know, our, our, our shows, movies, uh, music even uh all walks of life to where it almost seems unnatural you know where it becomes a token it becomes tokenized you know now you know that you're gonna have your gay character now you know why just because no it has to f cohesively matter and fit into the situation when it's not it feels you know uh, uh shoehorned in unapologetically i guess or i, I don't know really the, the right verbiage of that but it doesn't seem natural once again just let it flow just let it flow. And I think them announcing, you know, I'm Yoshi, I'm, I'm I'm bisexual character. I'm Toad, I'm also bisexual. They're poking fun at that, obviously. If you guys don't get that fucking joke, don't watch SNL, okay? So, you know, uh, or don't watch just any comedy, modern comedy in general. So I really enjoyed this sketch. You guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you guys did appreciate mine, let me know by hitting that big thumbs up. It goes a long way. Consider subscribing today where I do more reactions like this and live streams here on the channel. All right, Flickstalkers, till next one, I'm gone. It's a me, Flickstalk. <laughs>